Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving with your family and friends. As I promised in my last video, I made a tutorial for you so I can show you how I created my rainy night in Paris design. I made this design for one of the challenges on Instagram and as inspiration for this set of nails served one of the paintings that I have in my bedroom. So I did my best to recreate this look. And I hope you enjoyed this manicure that I dedicate to all the romantics out there. Let's get started. As usual, I will start with the base coat to protect my natural nails. Next, I will apply two layers of a gray polish on all of my nails. When my base color is completely dry, I will proceed with creating the canvas surface for my design. So I will apply a gray gradient on my ring and index finger. This will create the effect of the light breaking through the dark evening. And since gradient is such a messy method, I will use some peel-off liquid tape to apply it around my nails to help with the cleaning process. To create the gradient, I will use my base color and another lighter gray polish. I will apply my ombre colors on the makeup sponge starting with the light gray and finishing up with the darker gray. This will be a vertical gradient and will not be a contrasting well-defined one, but more of a shading effect. For a pair of opacity, I already apply this gradient on my index and ring fingernail twice. When done with my gradient, I will remove the liquid latex and if needed, clean the remaining mess using a cleaning brush dipped in acetone. Now I will continue with my pink and thumbnails where I will be applying a gradient as well. So I will use some peel off liquid tape to apply it around my nails so the cleaning process will be less painful. For this gradient I will use the base color and another dark gray polish. I will start by applying a generous amount of the lighter gray polish vertically on my makeup sponge followed by the darker polish. Immediately, I will start dabbing the sponge on my nail and I will repeat this step for a better opacity. Then I will do the same thing with my thumb fingernail. When done, I will remove the liquid latex using a pair of tweezers, then I will secure the gradient to the top coat. Next, to create a better surface for painting with acrylic colors, I will apply some matte top coat on all of my nails. When doing that, the acrylic paint is much easier to apply. For this design, I'll basically use some black and white acrylic paint and uh, I'll mix it together to create different shades of gray. And also I'll use a detailing brush and a flat brush. I'll start by painting the bottom of my nail dark gray using the flat brush. It's almost like creating a French manicure. This will be the stone fences on the bridge that will be extending on all of my nails. My goal is to create tiny little canvases that will recreate the initial picture we we'll put together. Next, I'll focus on my pinky nail. I will start by drawing a tiny horizontal line just below where the gray fringe starts. Then right below, I'll draw little curved lines that are reminding me of some parentheses that are facing away from each other and I'll color in the poles using a darker gray. When done, I'll draw another horizontal line right where the gray fringe meets the background gradient, creating the upper part of the stone fence. Then I'll move on to my ring fingernail where I'm gonna create the same fence. When done, I'll add a street light on the right side of the nail. I will start by painting the base of the light a little black rectangular shape right on top of the fence. Then I will create the actual pole for the light by painting two rows of parentheses facing away from each other, bigger at the bottom and smaller on top, and coloring the space between them, then creating a little pointed tip on top. On the upper part of the pole I will draw three arms that will hold the lights. Using the white acrylic paint, I'll create little shapes at the end of the arms that will resemble the street lights. 
Then I'll use some black paint to draw two little lines on top and bottom of each light that represents the light support. Then I'll move on to my middle fingernail where I'll start by painting the man using some black acrylic paint. Then right next to him I'll paint the shape of the woman. Next I'll use some black paint to draw the ground. When done I'll draw a tiny line in between my characters, this will be the handle of the umbrella. Then I'll use some red acrylic paint to create the actual umbrella. I'll continue by drawing the fence of the bridge on each side of the characters using some dark grey color. Then I'll return to my umbrella and I'll add some more definition to it by adding these tiny lines using black and white acrylic paint. Next I'll move on to the index finger or I'll continue drawing the fence. When done, I will use some light acrylic paint to draw the shape of the Eiffel Tower, then I will add a light grey shade to it for a more realistic look. Using the same light grey color, I will add some shades of the trees and buildings right on top of my fence. It doesn't have to be perfect, just some abstract shapes. And I will do the same thing on all of my nails. Then I'll go back and add some darker shapes to my trees to create the illusion that they are closer. And some random white dots between the trees that represent the little city lights. Next I'll add some light grey color to my stone fences for a better definition. And finally I'll complete my design with some rainstones. I'll apply a layer of top coat on my index finger and quickly before it dries I'll add some rainstones on the Eiffel Tower using a picker pencil. Then I'll apply the top coat on my ring fingernail and I'll add the rainstones for the night lights. Finally I'll finish my manicure with a shiny top coat. And here is the final result, a very beautiful and romantic design. What do you think, does it look like the original painting? Please leave your comments down below. And I really hope you like this design as much as I do and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with a new design.